Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Encounters, the late night UFO spiritual talk show. I'm Commander Alian. Welcome to the show. It's going to be a great show tonight. Bring everybody out there Johnny Miller, Tim, Richard, everybody, Celeste, Jake, all the people, royalty. Hey, Jan, good to see you. Johnny Miller, Deborah, Dave, everybody on the late night here all over the world, 666 Beast Mode. Uh, Anne, good to see you. I'm the one. Welcome to the show. I'm the one. Namaste, Brim. Good to see everybody coming in here everywhere around the world. From Japan to Scandinavia, the U.S., Central, South America, all over the planet. Yanni, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the roses. And tonight is our contact night. Not that other nights have not been somewhat contacting kind of nights on here this week. But tonight is a real focus, a real, real focus on contact. Uh, with my space star brother, Gattaco. Diane, welcome to the show. So we're going to be really laser focused here tonight, like you've never seen before. Hey, everybody coming in here. Alicia, good to see you. Hello, Lovella. Good to see you as well. Oz, that's a good name. I like that. James, Allen, Oz, Lovella, good to see you. Welcome, everybody coming in. Please share and like star. Good, good evening, Star Ruby. Good to see you, Ruby. Trina Goddess, good to see you. Star Runner Infinite, what a great name. Lacey Pool 12. Trance, good name there. Lisa, welcome to the show. Joe Boxer, for you. Sandy Pazino, Fast Must, Marcia Lindor. There are a lot of people in here. Eric, welcome to the show. Christine. Star, thank you for the likes. Everybody coming in here. Gloria King, Berber, good to see you. All the new people. Mike Bozd, I think it is. Marianne, welcome to the show. Captain Mystery Fog, I like that name. Good to have everybody here. So if you're new here, this is our Friday night contact. We've had contact, uh, you know, like a more casual contact throughout the week in my evening shows. We've got to go. But tonight is the special night of contact and i'm hoping Gattaco, your ship will be amping up on frequencies here on earth to communicate clearly deborah good to see you so if you've never heard of Gattaco, let me know i know there's new people coming in here you say who's Gattaco? uh i'll tell you who Gattaco is the wizard welcome to the show and uh Gattaco affected my green screen the other day when uh, Friends of Furs was on, when she when she took when she went down on her phone, my green screen went down, and now when I put it back up, the other green screen that still is now shrunk. So I had to contact TikTok to try to fix my green screen because it shrunk. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was crazy. Uh, Kiss, so good to see you. Hello. It's going to be a great night tonight. And we're going to, you know, make sure you get your questions specifically written down that you want to ask Gattaco. Uh, he might speak. It all depends. If he doesn't speak, he'll tap once for yes, two for no. So you want to have very specific questions. If the questions have been answered in the last few weeks on the show by him, uh, we'll, let you, <coughs> we'll, let, we'll let you know. Uh, yes, most definitely, Johnny. I almost ran out of apple cider, so I'm going to have to get another gallon tomorrow over the weekend, get some New England apple cider. You never want to run out of apple cider, especially if you're in New England. Now, it's off season, but I can still get it. Jerio, welcome to the show. Everybody coming in. Please share and like. We want to get up to 100,000 likes and also follow each other, follow each other and follow me. I want to get up to 100,000 followers before summer. And um, we're very excited. So, uh, yeah. And we're going to have a beautiful night of positivity, interaction, and all kinds of good stuff is going to happen here. Yanni says, I always have apple cider vinegar, but I don't drink it. Why? I just drink straight apple cider. I can't drink apple cider vinegar. But if you get some good 
apple cider from an apple cider orchard. There you go. So we're up to 54 people right now. It's still early. And uh, it will grow. Normally during the show, if you're new here, we get up to about 200 some plus folks that come into here. And our studio is vast. It's all over the planet, our studio audience. So you have plenty of seating. There's room for everybody to see me. You can see me wherever you are around the world. Just have a place to sit. Meditation pillow. Whatever you, you know, couch, rocking chair, whatever you want to do. Ellen, good to see you. Hello. have Welcome. Cosmic, welcome to the show. Kurt, welcome to the show. Good to have all these people coming in. Mark Ar MacArthur. I see all the names. Just looking at the screen here. Hey, Stella Bella, good to see you as well. Sir Papa something, Mimin. Hey, Mimin. William Williams, Lily, welcome to the show. I see all these beautiful people coming here. Darren Richards, welcome to the show. Good evening. Uh, everyone coming in here from all over the world, welcome to Encounters, the number one social media UFO spiritual talk show on social media. You won't see this on CNN, NBC, or CBS, I guarantee it. Because if they did put me on there, I'd bust their matrix. <laughs> you know I would. We're also host of WESU Sunday Morning Show, Ashtar Command Radio, on NPR Pacifica Radio for the last 21 years. So this is my 21st year on WESU-FM, NPR Pacifica Radio, doing what I want to do. They don't tell me what to do, and that's the way I like it. Totally free. Free spirit, free cosmic spirit. I do what I want to do. No one tells me what to do. And that's a good motto for anybody who's breaking the matrix to not do what other people tell you to do when it comes to this. You know, that's when you know you've really got it going there. When you've really kind of shaken things up. Hey, all right, good evening. Good to see you, you know. Oh, yeah, Alicia, I think Gattaca would have a lot of fun with a TV station. <laughs> Could you imagine Gattaca taking over a major TV network and in the transmission, Gattaca comes over the screen? Wouldn't that be kind of interesting? Should we suggest that tonight when we speak with Gattaca, that he takes over a major TV network broadcast facility and broadcasts and beams their transmission through the TV screen so everybody on cable can see him? That might be a suggestion. And you know what? I just might be bold enough to ask that question. I just might. We'll see what's going to happen here. Whatever happens, it'll be good. It'll be good. Honey Rick Reynolds, good to see you. Yeah, Teresa, that's absolutely correct. Why not? Hey, look, if Gattaca can mess around with James's board and he put it in a box and do that kind of stuff he can probably beam a transmission into a tv network and say this is an intergalactic message to the people of earth i can see that now my name is Gattaca from the star system Sirius. i can see him talking he's probably he's probably listening to what i'm saying right now and commander's got some good ideas on there maybe we should do that <laughs> hey, Tinker. Alan Cornett, yes, do anything. <laughs> hey, Nightbird. He could probably do more than we can imagine. I bet you he can. But I know Gattaca is waiting for the rest of the galactic planetary spiritual fleets of light to get here. Not all the spiritual uh, fleets. Now, we're talking about fleets of spaceships coming to Earth. There's a lot of them coming. They're not even here yet. You're seeing onesies, twosies, threesies, in and out around the planet, but you're not seeing what's really going to be here soon. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be amazing. You know what? Uh, EM, Emen, I think it is, Nerubu, you, you're, it's amazing. I was thinking about Nerubu today, and I'm going to ask um, Gattaca about Nerubu. I think that's a good thing to ask uh, him about Nerubu. And we'll get into that. You know, we have never really broached that subject too much. We've talked about it from time to time and within this year. 
but I think it's a good thing to ask him. So let's get amping up here. Everybody starts sharing. Everybody follow each other. Everybody that's new, follow me so you can keep abreast of when I'm on here. Normally the show's at 11 o'clock at night. Sometimes we're in the morning during the day, but we are pretty much a nighttime show, uh, an hour and a half show, and we'll be going from 11 to 12.30, so an hour and a half broadcast. I have a pretty well, I'm, I try to stay somewhat disciplined. We like a little bit over, but usually an hour and a half is a pretty good show. And let's face it, you know, the Tonight Show goes on for what, an hour, a half hour, 45 minutes? I don't even know. It's good to see. Please stop the background from moving. If I do that, I can try, but then it got to come messed up my uh, green screen the other night. And it's the reason why I'm doing this green screen is because if I do the other green screen, I don't think I'm going to be able to, maybe, I'm trying to, let me see here, I am trying to change it, now if I do this, then the commander is small, I could do that, but then you only see me in a small screen. That's not what I want to do. I might just have to deal with it. Oh, now it's working. Go figure. Go figure. It's working now, so we're going to let it, you know, we'll see what happens. This is, I really like it this way myself. It wasn't working right before, so now it is, so we'll uh, be happy with that. So welcome to the show, everybody. It's uh, We got on here just about mm, 15 minutes before 11. And we're going to wait till two other people come in here. Gattaca's waiting. Gattaca will not use my phone. Just to let you know, Gattaca will not use my phone. And maybe it's probably good because when he took Friends of Ferry's phone and deleted her power, she had to go onto another phone. When she went off, my green screen went down. <laughs> that was the other night. And then you heard Gattaca say yes. When she had to leave, Gattaca said yes. He spoke for a moment. And then we went back to, you know, silence. So I know he can speak. <laughs> I know he can speak. But it takes a lot of energy where they are in space. Um, and I really don't understand their communications mechanisms. Oh, yeah, he was really active last night. You think last night he was active? He's already, he's probably prepared himself for this ten, tonight. I bet you Gattaca is prepared for tonight. I'm absolutely certain he's prepared for tonight. You know, Daryl Anka should sit in and get on TikTok and listen to my show. Daryl Anka should sit in and listen to Gattaca. He should. But... Hey, Rocket Appliance, welcome to the show. All the new people that have heard about this show, welcome to Encounters. This is not just any TikTok. This is the number one spiritual UFO talk show on social media. You know, we might not have some big massive awards like CNN or something, but it's real. That's the thing. It's cosmically going to be real here. I guarantee it. Uh, Susie, Beach Toes, welcome. Good to see you, Susie. Everybody coming in here. Coastal Cosmonaut, I like that. Coastal Cosmonaut, that's a creative name. I like that. Debbie Stevens, welcome to the show. Thank you for the confetti. We're going to need confetti the night we do our thing when we uh, actually go off planet. We will need the confetti. The confetti, the stars, everything. You know, I think I'm going to see when we do our C5, Nikki D, hey, how you doing? Alan Hart. When we do our C5 April 13th in the Apple Orchard, I'm going to, some of us, I'm going to have all of us on together live. That's going to be kind of weird. We're all going to be in the same place and be on live on Encounters. And then when hopefully the experiment works and the ship comes, then we're all going to record the ship from the field before we, are not able to record when we go in the spaceship. So 
Um, we'll probably have to do some pre-planning, but we can do that. We're pretty much able to do that. Hey, Mystic Maven, Karen, good to see you. Good to see everybody coming here. The end. Hey, the end. Believe 20. And we got the end in there, too. Vampiris Mina. She's going to become a space person, Vampiris Mina. She's going to be transformed into a space woman. <laughs> Mahansu, good to see you, brother. Good to see you always. Mahansu, my friend, intergalactic star being and gong therapy person on Earth. Diane, welcome to the show. Welcome, 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 everybody. Virginia, welcome. Diana, hey, good to see you. Science is interesting. I like that name. That's a good creative name. Science is interesting. Astral Collective. Hello, Astral Collective. Mercury Man, good to see you up in Vermont. And everyone, Heidi, uh, good to see you. Virginia, again, hello to you. User 7-something. E-M-E-N-N, welcome. Lee Lee. Nikki D, thanks for the likes. Philip, welcome. Why won't he use your phone? Because he probably would drain my battery, and probably he wants to be um, protective of the fact that I'm the one hosting the show. Because you imagine me losing my battery power, then who would be hosting the show? Gotico would be. And I wouldn't be here. Gotico would be hosting the show. Yeah, you know, so he doesn't want to use my phone. But that's okay. We're cool with that. The commander's cool with that. Vesky, hey, good to see you, Vesky. Brad. JNA grows. Candy coated. Good to see you, Candy Coated. All the good people all over the place. I hope some of my UFO friends come over here that I was on their live this morning in Japan just listening. I can't speak Japanese, but uh, they love the show. Some of them are uh, definitely uh, come in here. And in just a few minutes, soon we'll be having uh, Friends with Furry, my co host. Uh, because it's actually G E K K O. I thought it was Gotico, but it's actually G E K K O. So he responds to that. As long as I pronounce it right, I guess that's probably good. Just got home. Uh, no problem, friends with furry. Uh, get yourself set up so you can come on live on the screen too, if you can. Unless Gotico tries not to let you come on live on the screen, friends with furry, which he did the last time. So Gotico, I'm telling you right now. The commander is saying this on behalf of the Ashtar Galactic Command. I want to let a Friends of Fury come on her screen tonight and do not delete her power. He hears me. Do not delete her, her, her battery power. She needs her battery power because every time we're communicating, by the time we get to a certain point, she has to switch phones. I'm telling Gattaca not to... Uh, to do this. <laughs> Got to call us friends with furry. She's at a very beautiful vibrational frequency. That's that's really the key. Her energy field is really, really high. Yes. Uh, he, uh, yes, Ken Ocean, you're going to hear, well, as soon as she's, when she gets settled and I want her to, you know, relax and just make sure she can get herself on the stream. Friends with fairies, make sure your hair uh, is, is okay the way you want it to be. And, um, you know, get comfortable and try putting your video camera on. As long as Gattaco hears me, Gattaco, let her turn her camera on tonight. For some reason, he likes to play those games. And if I say Gattaco, tap, if you're hearing every sound I'm saying, I know he hears what I'm saying. Can you give us a tap right now before Friends with Furious comes on? Gattaca, you want to give us a tap for a yes? I got my little ear pods on here, Gattaca. You want to say something? I also want to say I asked the Ashtar Command to put a protection around this broadcast. I asked that my uh, good, good space brother, Kadar Manka, put a spaceship over my house. Uh, with a tensor beam radiating about 30 miles to 40 mile radiuses in 360 degree directions. We put a beautiful energy here in the group. In this live broadcast, everyone is protected in love and light. Everyone's protected in Christ the frequencies of light. Every single person will be amped up tonight in the light. 
on encounters. That's my gift to everybody. Uh, the cat, yes, she's the enemy. It's uh, the one thing. Now, she's actually, I think she's in another room. You know, I am amped up tonight. I'm ready. The commander is ready. The host is ready. I am amped up as you can be. And I want to thank all my moderators, Chesno, Marinay, Johnny Miller, all my moderators. Thank you so much. Talking God, good to see you. And I'm just very uh, excited. And as you know, we never know what's going to happen with Gattaca when he comes here. But Gattaca knows the commander is ready. We're ready. Spaceship is ready for liftoff. Everyone in the spaceship. Oh, okay, Susie. I think that might be a space scotch. Could be. Merriweather, good to see you. Danielle, good to see you. Mediator, good to see you. All the people coming in here. If you're not here, here, you're square. If you want to be cosmically hip and take a trip, you got to be on encounters. You see? This is where it's at. I like that, that saying. If you want to be cosmically hip, you need to take a trip on a ship. Oh, that rhymes really good. If you want to be cosmically hip, you need to take a trip on a ship. I can turn it into a song. I should sing that to Gattaca when he comes on with Friends of Furries. Hey, Gattaca, if you want to be cosmically hip, you got to take a trip on a ship. How's that sound? Good? I see a song coming out of that. I see at least a two or three minute song out of that. If you want to be cosmically hip, you have to take a trip on a ship. Yeah, you can tell I'm amped up here. I'm excited. And we'll hopefully Gattaca will not mess with my screen tonight. Nyla's World, thank you for the roses. We encourage that too, by the way. Uh, if you want to help uh, with the things we're doing generally, uh, you can do TikTok gifts. So we encourage that through the show. Any TikTok gifts, you decide what you want to give. That's up to you. Also, you can um, become a subscriber, you know, a TikTok subscriber to my TikTok. That money is going towards night vision equipment. So we're still raising, uh, slowly but surely, we're raising money. So become a subscriber for a month or two months or whatever you want to do. If your subscription is running out, just uh, renew it when you're ready to renew it, and that's cool too. All right. So I'm just going to sing just a little bit of a song here. If you want to be hip, you got to go on a ship and take a little trip. Da, 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 da. If you want to take a trip, you got to be hip on a big, big ship. Bump, 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 bump. That's, I'll stop right there. I'm getting into it. <laughs> hey, Gage, good to see you. Failed Cap, hey, hey, it's good to see you. St. Osbury, good to see you. St. Osbury Society. Flower Power, yes, indeed. Candy Coated. Everybody here, welcome to the ship. This is the TikTok spaceship with the commander on encounters. So when you're here, don't you feel like you're on a spaceship in here? You've just gotten aboard a spaceship for an hour and 30 minutes. So take a seat. It's a big, big ship. And there's plenty of room for everybody. Rachel Devine, thank you for that heart. Thank you, thank you, people. Brothers and sisters, fast must thank you for the likes. Cliff Morris, welcome, Cliff Morris. Tiffany, welcome, Tiffany. Good to see you. Candy Coated, good to see you. Stanley, good to see you. Sound kinds of like Route 66. Yes, it kind of does sound like that. And I'm ready for Gattaca because I'll sing him. When Gattaca's on here, he probably hears the song now. When he comes on here, I'm going to say, Gattaca, did you hear me singing that song? We're going to see what he says. Then we're really going to get into it. 
Yeah. Hey, Marion, welcome to the show. Laura Chicago, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, thank you for the roses. Anybody got any whales out there? Those are the whales that go through the screen that look like they're splashing water. Anybody got a whale for the commander? While we're waiting for Gattaca? If you don't know what a whale is on TikTok, it's like a gift thing that splashes through. I don't know how many coins you need to have to, to send one of those over. But it's one of my favorite ones is the whale. And um, when uh, Flames and Fairies is ready, I will bring her on. She'll just, uh, you know, press the guest, guest box. When uh, Flames and Fairies is ready, I will bring her on. She'll just, uh, you know, press the guest, guest box. Rebby, thanks for the roses. Summer fun. Summer will be fun. Well, there is uh, Honey McReynolds. Thank you. Man, you just made my night with that. <laughs> I don't think anybody can top that because that is amazing. And plus, I love whales. I love uh, dolphins. All of those. I mean, I actually went when I was in Hawaii. I was swimming and there were sea turtles that were like in the water. They were huge. It was pretty cool. Hey, Jim Palm. Good to see you, Jim. And I'm looking at all the names here coming in here. We'll be getting started shortly on a Friday night. Thank goodness it's Friday. The weekend is here. And we're going to get all spaced out tonight. I guarantee it. All of us. Right here on the show. Yanni, thank you for TGIF. We appreciate that. Yeah, the Turtles. We love Coco. The Turtles. Clifford says, Commander, I would love to send something, but I'm very broke right now. Clifford, don't worry about it, man. When you have when you have the the thing going your way, just do it when you can. That's all. It's all good. It's all good. I tell people all the time: if you're broke, don't worry about it. Now it's all good. Happy Friday, Jessica. And pretty soon we'll have friends with fairies joining us. Star Run Infinite. Thanks for getting in here. Let's get weird tonight. <laughs> you know what? That reminds me of a, of a song. Like uh, going on a ship. Let's get weird tonight going on a ship. Let's get weird tonight going on a trip. Let's go weird tonight getting on a ship. I can see a song coming through that. Hey, thanks, Jasno. <laughs> uh, futures. When is global contact disclosure? It will actually, seriously, it's going to be happening soon. Uh, now, on, a, on our level of Earth-based congressional hearings, there have been more hearings than some bills were just passed, which I have to look at that are going to help promote disclosure. But in terms of disclosure, uh, it's going to happen from above. Nayla's world, thank you for that. It's going to happen from above. You're basically going to eventually see the galactic levels come in. Uh, thank you, honey. Uh, you're going to see the galactic levels come in. Are we going to, like, disappear? No, we're not going to disappear. So whatever you hear out there, there's a lot of stuff, weird stuff being stated about what's going to happen. I'll tell you all what's going to happen. We're going to eventually have direct contact with a lot, a lot of space people from different planetary systems. The planet Earth is not going to, we're not going to disappear. And what we're going to do is we're going to vibrate at a higher frequency in our human body, which will allow us to be able to do things we weren't able to do before. So we're going into a transference or a transitioning from this uh, energy that we have on Earth to a whole different energy, a whole new cosmic energy, and it will affect all of us. It really will. And uh, like I said, in a few minutes, we'll have Friends with Furries on when she's ready. She'll tell me. Uh, you know, she just got home, so we want to make sure she's comfortable. Um, and I will I'll press the, the invite button now so see, she, she'll press it when she's ready. But I sent the invitation to her so when she's ready, she can come up. Good evening, uh, Samara. Good to see you. So, yes, uh, good question about that in terms of disappearing. We're not disappearing. So don't ever feel like you're going to disappear when things start happening because you're not. Well, I just lost my... Uh, how did that happen? 
Whoa, man, let's get back to that. I just, I didn't do anything. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, don't tell me. Now my green screen doesn't want to work. What's going on here, man? Okay. I got my green screen going here. I don't know what happened. Commander could disappear in space. Hallelujah. I could probably disappear in space. <laughs> Yeah, my green screen disappeared. I thought it was going to be me disappearing. <laughs> you know, I think Gattaca is playing with my green screen. I was hoping it would just leave the green screen alone, you know? I don't want to have the moving thing because it's going to make people dizzy. So let me see if I can get it to not do that. Gattaca messed up my green screen on one thing here. And it's not working properly. I don't want that. Bear with me. We're going to have a moving green screen here tonight, folks, I think. I'm going to have a talk with Gattaca when he comes on here to fix my green screen on my TikTok screen. I think he messed it up the other night. Don't get dizzy. Whatever you do, do not get dizzy here. If you're getting dizzy, don't get dizzy. Because <laughs> so I can make it go this way. Would you like it to go this way or this way? Which one's better? You tell me. Horizontal or vertical? Horizontal or vertical? Okay. Vertical? Okay, it's going vertical. You want it to go vertical. Okay, it's going to go vertical. Just don't get dizzy. <laughs> What's going on with your screen? Oh, you know when you when Gattaca took you off the other night? Uh-huh. He took my green screen down that it was like solid, like just a big screen. Yeah. I had to contact TikTok and tell him I'm having troubles with my green screen. Oh, no. Yeah, he wasn't affecting me. It would always affect you, but he said... When he affected you, he affected my green screen, and I had to re-enter it. Oh, shoot. It's oh, all right. Uh, Gattaca, I want you to fix my green screen. <laughs> Gattaca, you need to fix my green screen. When you took her off on her phone, you affected my green screen. Do you know that? I just heard a tap. <laughs> you know, uh, Space Brother, my green screen is important to me because then it allows me... Some people are getting dizzy from seeing it moving. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably getting, getting, getting dizzy. Dizzy people on Earth. We don't want dizzy people. Do you got to tell you want the people to be dizzy? I don't think he wants people to be dizzy. So we're going to have a good show tonight. And Gattaca is our co-host of the show with Friends with Fairies. <laughs> Gotta go is co-host from the spaceship. So everyone say hello to Gotta go. Oh, he's doing it. He's scrolling through the comments. Gotta go is now scrolling through your comments on Friends of Prairie's phone. So um, I want everyone to have very specific questions. Uh, I have a really good question for Gattaca, which I don't know why I never thought of it before. So Gattaca, everybody knows about the planet Nerubu. Nerubu, uh, is that planetary system hidden by our sun on the other side of the sun? Okay, did everybody hear the one, the one tap? So people don't understand it. When he taps once, it means yes. So the planet Nerubu, this big planet, is blocked out by our, our, our own sun that we go around, our sun. The planet Nerubu is on the other side of the sun. So for those that didn't understand that there is a planet Nerubu, there is a planet Nerubu. Agatico, is, are there a lot of um, star people on that planet?
okay, two taps for no. Are there any intergalactic space people on that planet? Uh, one click, he said yes. Um, is there a difference between intergalactic space people and star people? One tap for yes, two taps for no. He said yes, there's a difference. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know there was a difference. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like a, um, like a, uh, like how the moon is, you know, like a inter intergalactical, like basically like a truck stop for, for yeah. um, extraterrestrials. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good way to put it. Why don't you ask them? You're, you're right there. You might as well ask them. Um, gotta go. Is, is, how does it pronounce? Narubu? Narubu. Narubu. Is Narubu a, um, a, a space station for um, inter, intergalactical beings to stop in? He, he, he said, tapped once. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Well, so guess. now, that's a great question. Uh, so now we know that Nerubu is on the other side of the sun. Now we also know that there are many different uh, uh, space people that go to Nerubu, come and go from the Nerubu. Um, does Nerubu have a lot of uh, cities on its planet, or what kind? Of, is Nerubu similar to the Earth's atmosphere, or is Nerubu a big uh, intergalactic spaceship? You asked two questions, maybe. One. I know. That's a, I think <laughs> I asked two questions. Is Nerubu uh, a planet or an intergalactic huge spaceship? No, no, let me start that again. Wait a minute. I did it again. <laughs> is Nerubu a spaceship? One click for one. For, yeah, he made one click. So Nerubu, everybody, is a spaceship. It's a spaceship. You heard it first here when my space brother on his spaceship off planet. Nerubu is a spaceship. Oh, it's a pretty large ship. He, so he, Nerubu now. He stopped on a question. Somebody's asking, um, does his planet have more than one moon? I'll let you, t I'll let you ask, answer, ask him, Commander. Oh, you could too. I mean, well, well you're, you're also here. You know, you can ask him. Gotta go. Does your planet have more than one moon? He says yes. Yeah, I heard one tap too. Yeah, this planet has more than one moon. Does your planet have two moons? No, oh, I got that right. His planet has two moons. He said two. You hear like talking? Yeah, that's a, I'm sorry about that. That's um, the TV. The kids are still up. Oh, the TV. Oh, the kids are watching TV. Okay. Yeah. That's in the background. Yeah. Well, I just heard, were you just clicking just now? No. Okay. Um, and we're going to take your questions for Gattaca. So we're very laser focused tonight. This is our, our, our special contact show. Although Gattaca has been with us all week, pretty much. This is the most exciting night for all of us, including Gattaca and the people on the ship. This is our time to really focus. Gattaca, there's a question that came to me. You probably heard it before Friends of Terry was on here. I said earlier, wouldn't it be interesting? Um, the Ashtar Command many years ago in 1977 on Earth time, Gattaca, a person, a being called Rilleron, who was from the Ashtar Galactic Command, they broadcasted over the ITN TV network in England in a local area. They actually broadcast over the TV program. Are you able to broadcast over a TV network or not? One tap for yes, two taps for no. Did you hear that tap? Yes. Oh, I heard yes, too. You hear so, Gattaca, yeah, I heard the yes. He said yes. 
Danica, would you be willing? I really think this is something I thought about, considering I'm from the Ashtar Command broadcasting here now, but I'm thinking of something even greater. Wouldn't it be beautiful to take over one of the American TV networks, uh, one of the national networks? It could be uh, ABC News. It could be CBS. We have these networks. They're called networks on, uh, on Earth. I'm not sure if you've heard of them. But could you potentially pick a day? Um, actually, we can probably do it during one of my shows. Can we actually proceed to coordinate an activity to broadcast over a TV network during a sports game or any time? Fox, CNN News. Uh, would you want? Would you like to do that? One tap for yes, two taps for no. I got a one tap yes. Thank I you, Commander. Ask him yep. again. Ask him again. I heard two. You heard two. I heard two. Okay, so maybe I'm got to go. What do you think here? And I'm now talking from my Ash Tarkovan perspective about broadcasting over a TV network worldwide. One tap for yes, two taps for no. What did you hear? Two taps? I heard two taps, yeah. Oh, okay. So he's not wanting to do that. Okay, I respect that. That's interesting. So I know you're able to do it, but are you the reason why you don't want to do it is because you think it might freak people out on the planet? One tap for yes, two taps for no. I just had two taps. Now I'm confused. Maybe it's not time, Commander. Maybe it's... Okay, uh, my, I don't think... That's a good question. Is it not time to broadcast over the TV networks? One tap for yes, two taps for no. I heard I heard one tap. Yeah. Okay, I understand. I just had to get a clarification from you. I understand. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about this as you're asking it, and I'm, I'm wondering if he's not, um, you know, because they're planning on doing this big, um, whatever. Oh yeah, the bigger event. Doing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's. I think they want to wait. Yeah, that's what I'm probably. That's what I'm thinking. I think that. So now the question is, Gattaco, are you waiting for the rest of the fleets before something like this happens? One tap for yes, two taps for no. Uh, yes, they're waiting. Uh, Stanley, uh, Gattaco is my contact from the star system uh, Cirrus. Uh, uh, just so for people that I know some of you might be new here. So he's known me before Earth. Uh, we've known each other on a off-planet scale before I was in the human form. Um, and we were, you know, basically great friends before, you know, me coming here. And now we've reconnected over a month and a half ago. We uh, they found they they've knew they've known I've been here, and they finally decided Gattaco decided it's time for making contact with Commander Alion again. And I am so thankful, Gattaco. You know, I just uh, I feel very close to everybody on your ship. Uh, it's uh, a lot of love, a lot of love. And, and well, I, thank you. I also want to um, um, piggyback on that, Commander, that um, this isn't anything that's channeled. The Commander doesn't channel um, none of that funny stuff. Um, this is a legit contact that has been going on for um, a, about two months now. Um, he first contacted the Commander through um, an Alexa app, and then there has been bo um, voice contact. Um, We've actually seen Gotta Go on another screen, um, and he has um, actually been with the commander and communicating through my device and through other electronic devices. Um, this has been going on. If if um, you had been watching the show or if you would like to see, you can go on the command commander's YouTube the YouTube channel and check it out. Um, this is this contact has been going on for a couple of months now and um, he is a being of light. He is a good being. This is nothing bad or anything channeled. So this is this is legit contact that has been going on now on this show. Yes, and I appreciate that. And Friends with Ferry 
there's no like you know it's amazing how we met um on here i mean if i haven't been on here we've never met but see san francisco is also a beautiful soul that is very much in a high frequency state of consciousness her whole area of her land in vermont where she is is very sacred on a very cosmic level and that's why Gattaca chooses um to work with her because she is of that frequency and that vibration so everything has a synchronicity uh a future says how does Gattaca scroll through your phone through the uh, people chatting i i he my i set my phone down so i'm not touching it because Gattaca has very strong energy and it makes my hands tingle so i do not touch my phone i set it down and it just scrolls by itself it's him scrolling and he'll stop on a question that he wants to answer um mm -hmm. i read it yeah um, he just said yes yeah. <laughs> Friends of Fairy, can you turn your uh, screen on? Or Gattaca, will you let her turn her screen on tonight? I, I can, or I told you I just got home from work. I am. Oh, crazy. you just got home, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll forget I, that. Yeah. I, I work in a. I'll, I'll just. I'll just give you the short. I work in a. Um, I work in a cheese factory, and um, I. Oh. I'm covered in cream cheese, and I look oh, crazy. Oh no, no. Nah. So, yeah, I was cleaning uh, tanks today, so. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious! You know what? We have to get you a spacesuit. <laughs> Believe me, I have one. It looks crazy. <laughs> Gattaca, you have to get involved. There really is. Gattaca, you have to beam down into our house a spacesuit you can wear for the show. How's that sound, Gattaca? That's it's funny because that's actually how um because of the type of cream cheese that we make, um that's how I um was introduced to pumpkin. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Pumpkin is my Bigfoot friend, um, and he actually really likes the pumpkin spice cream cheese that we make, and that's how we became friends, was through this pumpkin spice cream cheese, and the name Pumpkin just kind of came out of that, and he, he, he picked it, so. Yeah. You know, and I can hear the echoing a little bit coming through, yeah. but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. Can we expect global con? So, uh, Gattaca can choose the people he wants to answer questions from as he's scrolling on your thing. I see questions here, yeah. but I like I don't pick the ones he wants. He stopped on Kent. Uh, what was that one that he picked? Um, he's he's got two going on here. Um, so can we expect go global contact? Um, um, event and to yeah. Um, the answer to that is yes. Um. <coughs> that's that's what gotta go has stated um i know that um the commander and a, a small group of us are going to be actually having contact um on april 13th there's going to be a small event with gotta go and his people on his ship um but from what we understand from what gotta go has been communicating with us is that 2024 is going to be the time of the big contact ships have been coming in um every day different ships have been coming in all over the world um with different different beings of light now these are good beings not low vibration right. beings um that are coming down to help us and what that help is going to entail we are not sure yet i'm sure we're going to be filled in when we um have our small contact group thing on the 13th but right now, um, we don't know what, what everything is going to entail. The commander knows a little bit more about that than, than I do from his contacts with his, um, with his space people. Um, and he could probably fill that in a little bit better than me. Yes. Yeah, so you, you've done very well. Uh, and I know Gattaca would say you've done very well what you said. So in terms of the contact, um, we're, get, we're calling it an experiment so people don't go saying, oh, the, this group was saying they were going to do something, they didn't do it. We'd be pretty somewhat embarrassed if nothing happens. Uh, so I don't think Gattaca would embarrass us. I think uh, they're going to be very smart about how they do this. Their ship is well protected. Gattaca, they have a way of protecting their ship from being detected from Earth-based radar on the planet. They will not be detected when we do this when they come over or how this is going to happen uh, in the apple orchard we're going to be at when this happens we will be broadcasting the event live on our TikTok, uh and then um as things progress to the point where we're going to be beamed up on the ship 
will not be able to video record because we're going to be in a different frequency um, on the spaceship. So it will be our technology won't work. But we will be able to record outside of the spaceship if they appear, the ship appears, it will be protected. And um, we're just going to have our group go on the ship for two hours, Earth time, which in space, space, it, there is no time like on Earth. The, the, uh, it's hard to explain it in a sense that we have time mechanisms here on planet Earth. Like everything, you look at your watch and say, what time is it? When you're in space, you're not looking at a watch saying, what time is it? Because there is no such thing as time. So what we could be in that two-hour period on Earth, we could be have spent a month in space going to different planetary systems, doing different things, learning different things, and then in what we call Earth time in two hours, be back on Earth. So I hope people understand that. Does that make sense? Anybody? So <clears throat> there's another there's another question on here, um, asking um, Gotta Go. Do you eat um, and do you eat animals too? Um, I can I can answer that. Um, I, I or I can ask Gotta Go, but um, he has already told us that um, they they have. Um, um, regular gardens and farms and stuff that they have up in their planet um and from from what we're understanding they they eat a lot of vegetables and stuff like that um, yeah the vegetarian yeah, the vegetarian they i don't believe they do eat animals no, no. and mo and most of the spiritual beings of light the from different galactic star systems are vegetarians uh they're vegetarians i can answer that i know all the ashtar command uh, people that I know, and Kedar Manka has taught me many years ago that many of the star families grow vegetables, uh, fruits, uh, they're vegetarians. Gattaco just tapped once, just to let you know. Um, and he just stopped on, um, are the, are, um, are they, are the beings from Nebula coming? Um, Gattaco our nebula are the are the beings from nebula coming <clears throat> sorry can you explain what nebula is um now i i think i've heard that that word i'm maybe my brain um, my my mind has lost it there for a minute nebula what is nebula I think I've heard of that, Commander. I think that's a constant. It's either a constellation or it's a planet. Is Nebula a planet or a constellation, Gattaca? I mean, no, that's two questions. Is is Nebula a planet? Yes or no? No. Is Nebula a constellation? Yes or no? Nebula is oh, a constellation. Oh. What was that? Did you say whoa whoa? Yeah, did you not hear that? What'd you hear? I it sounded like rumbling and talking. I didn't hear that. I just heard the, the It was really pronounced on my side. Wow, that was really loud. <laughs> yeah, nebulas are stars and clusters. That's what I, that's what I thought a nebula was. Stars and clusters. Um he said I yes. didn't hear the he said they were he, asking if people were if, if beings were coming from there and Gattaco said yes so are there hmm I'm confused I don't I know now I, I've seen pictures of nebula through the space uh satellites that we have that are sent up into space um that's an interesting question do nebulas hold galactic portals? Got a code? On one tap for yes, two taps for no. That was a loud tap. So nebulas hold portals. Galactic portals are in nebulas. I didn't know that. 
maybe that's what maybe that's why he meant that beings were coming from there. Maybe yeah, so the nebulas, I think that's what you well, just tapped. Yes, so nebulas, I can say now, based on what Gattaca just tapped, uh, that's where spaceships come in and out of portals through the nebula. Whoever thought of that, I would have never have ever thought of that. Hmm. Um, Did you hear that? Yes. Oh, I hear the spaceship. I hear. Yeah. Oh, things are getting weird now. <laughs> um, do you... Is Elon Musk going to get us to Mars in the year 2000? He's not going to get us to Mars. Mars is off off limits to people of Earth. I'm from Mars. I, every time I hear Elon Musk wanting to go to Mars, I just get like, no, 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 no. He you know, people live on Mars, ten to fifteen million Martians. Yeah, but no, he's not gonna go there. No Mars, no Mars for Elon Musk. Mm -mm. Did uh, did you hear the spaceship? I heard your spaceship, uh, Gattaca, it had a, like a, hmm, like a hum sound. That was the ship, correct? One tap, yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful sound. It's like, mm, like a waving sound, like a. Mm -hmm. It's so cool when, it, when you, he lets us hear it. Um, yes. Good morning, or good, good evening, Rita. Um, I hope. Yeah, when you're talking, I can hear the spaceship. Um, Ashley's saying that um, I hope military won't be able to detect it. Got it. Go. Oh, um, will Will the military be able to detect your ships? No. No detection of the ships. It won't happen. I I'm like you're reverberating a little bit here. My energy level is really amped up right now. Yeah, me too. Matter of fact, when the ship comes, when his ship comes to take us off planet and beam us up, they have the ability to protect their craft. They will not be detected by anybody, as Gattaca just stated. Uh, we will be also protected on the ground when we're beamed up. Um, and we're totally not concerned about anything around us, where we're going, uh, in terms of parking our vehicles. Um, we'll have permission to use the, the land. And uh, so our cars will be sitting there for two hours, and probably if anyone comes by, they say, "Where is the people that were in those cars?" <laughs> they won't have any idea that we are in space. I'm sure our we'll cars have will be there on the ground. We'll Don't have they? some people on the ground to just be there, but we're going to have the majority of our people on the spaceship. And um, Gattaca, will we have to wear any space suits once we come on the ship or any space suits that we have to wear? One tap for yes, two taps for no. One tap for yes. So are the space suits comfortable? Will we be, uh, I've never seen your space suits. Are they comfortable for, uh, will we feel comfortable in them? One tap for yes, two taps for no. One did you hear a tap? Yeah, I did. One tap. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody in our, our group who are representing our planet are going to feel comfortable in the space outfits that we're going to wear. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've never worn a spacesuit, Gattaca, at least not on Earth, probably when I was before coming to planet Earth with the command. But on Earth, I've never worn a spacesuit. You know, it's been a long, long time. Um, ask God to go to all planets in solar system have sound and tons. What sound and what now? Sound and to tons or tones. Is that what you're trying to say? Tones. When I can't. Uh, where is that question? Um, I don't know. Gotta go stopped on that. Who say? Who's asking that question? Uh, Lu Lucy Bigfish. Lucy Big Fish. I'm trying to find the big sh sh uh, fish. Um, no, the Draconians, uh, Lord Infinite, or 
are kicked out of the planet. They're no longer in any kind of control. They were kicked out here a while ago. Uh, I can't find that big fish, but there's so many people asking questions here. I think here. they're asking sounds and tones. Um, I think that's what they were trying to say. Um, so, gotta go. They have music um, where they're from. They have played us their space music before. So, um, I would assume the, the the answer to that question is yes. They do use sounds and tones. In fact, it means yes. I would agree with that too. Um, and there's another question here. It says, um, gotta go. Do you use a hundred percent of your brain? We only use 10%. <clears throat> you want to ask commander? Yeah. Got to go. Uh, one person on the earth here is asking the show. Uh, they use the word brain. Do you use a hundred percent of your consciousness, which I more importantly than the brain or brain consciousness, or do you use 10% on earth? We're told we use 10% of our brain not 100%. So in your consciousness, do you use 100% of your consciousness or 10% of your consciousness? Well, that's a hard question. Let me start with one question. Do you use 100% of your consciousness, yes or no? He uses 100%, they use 100% of their consciousness, which I also, uh, that answers your question then. They use 100% of their consciousness. One yes. person is is asking a question here, Gattaco. I don't know if you've seen it. Let's see here. Uh, Diana is asking a question, Gattaco. Can you play some space music through here right now? Can you play some space music? She wants to know that. One tap for yes, two taps for no. Two taps for no. He's not able to do it. I heard, I heard him say no, and then something it, it like faded off. I, I think is I don't know if it's because he's been on so much, or I, I don't know if he just because he's so far away. Um, it could be far away, yeah. Yeah, because his his um, energy. Because sometimes he's like really loud, and sometimes he's not. So yeah, it depends. <clears throat> uh, Joey Peeps Agatico says. Are some entities, spaceships, and others uh, words are the space? Oh, I think, Joey, what you're asking is, you're, you're saying, are some spaceships living entities? Uh, Got to go, are there some, sp this person's asking, are some spaceships living entities? You know, one tap for yes, two taps for no. He said yes, some are. Not all of them, but some are, depending. Some are. That's pretty cool. Well, the uh, the ship of the golden ship of light that I talk about when I take people off planet through my workshops, the ship is as big as the earth, and that ship is a ship, and it's also a living entity. So it's a spaceship and a living entity. So... But it is a spaceship, and a human person would say to me, well, how commander, how could it be a spaceship and a living entity? It just is. When they go on that ship, the golden ship of light, it has um, areas where you can meditate, you can travel in a nanosecond by thought to other places. There are mountains in the ship, rivers, all kinds of places. I think so it is, it's a... I'm sorry to yes. interrupt you. I think that's really cool because, you know, I've some of the um, spaceships that I've seen up in my area, they look like um, jellyfish yeah. and they and they change colors and you can see them like change shape. So, I mean, that would that that really does make a lot of sense. Yeah. I have a question here for Gattaco uh, by Futures. Will Earth have peace within a year after you after the fleets come is what they're asking, whatever year that is. After contact happens, will there be peace on Earth? The person is asking. One tap for yes, two taps for no. Uh, to your question, the 
Answer is yes. Once the fleets have made official contact with the people of Earth, there will be peace. Uh, Jack, um, that's your only perce- that's your own perception of reality. You're saying it now, so don't don't worry about it. Because our planetary system's consciousness is shifting, so human consciousness is shifting along with it. Not only that, every planet in our universe, in this particular dispensation of energy in our universe, and I'm talking from an Ashtar Command perspective at the moment, is all elevating to a higher frequency. So everything is changing, including life on planet Earth is changing. Even though there are pockets of things that are that really are amplified in the negative on news media understand that the earth is shifting therefore human consciousness is shifting therefore uh x the space beings do not sit and think to themselves that humans cannot change that's not their perception they know that human consciousness is shifting so human consciousness is changing and it will change it's not going to be stagnant It'll change because it has to. It's just the progression of life, how things elevate, and frequencies and vibrations and time schedules, and not time schedules, but it, just the whole vibrational pattern of things will change. So I suggest people turn off their TV news channels because it amplifies the negative. Earth based news is never really about positives. It's always about this war here and this thing here and that person doing this thing here. They don't amplify the positive. So you think the whole world is falling apart when, in fact, humans are now going to be elevated uh, through higher frequency consciousness. Uh, In terms of the fleets coming, the fleets are coming. Um, My space brother Gattaca and his particular spaceship, uh, they are part of a greater galactic spiritual grouping of spaceships that are coming to Earth, and they will be, they're already coming, they're not here yet. There are intergalactic uh, ships from other planetary worlds sporadically all over the planet in our outer atmosphere, so to speak. But there are many, many ships coming. Every day there's new ships coming. So they, they're, I think they're waiting for everybody to show up. I will say this, and I can speak on behalf for Gattaca, who's tapping, that when every single spiritual fleet of light shows up around Earth, it's going to be like a bunch of fireworks, galactically speaking. In translation, what I am speaking of is that the galactic ships will light up the whole planetary system around Earth. It'll be amazing when you see it. Every single government around the world will take notice. They will. They can't hide from it. They can't go in a cave. And all those people around the world that have been trying to hide the truth from you, the human human consciousness, the human people of this planet, they will now not have anywhere to hide. All their lies will be exposed. All the secrecy will be exposed. And the truth will be all around our planet, in the skies above you. When the fleets come, you will see the beauty of the ships, many, many ships, that will appear before you. And as they do, understand that that will be the time of contact. Got to call my correct on that. One tap for yes, two taps for no. Got to go with a resounding tap. You heard his tap on my information. Ah, that's a good question. Julesy. Julesy says, will the galactic beings of light from all the planetary systems be able to heal people that are sick. One tap for yes, two taps for no. Uh, one tap, Jules Z. The answer is actually yes. The galactic beings of light from all the planetary systems do have medical 
abilities, not like Earth medical. Earth medical abilities are very limited to 3D consciousness world understanding. My um, understanding to translate it into English is that there are abilities to heal people of all kinds of things once we have official contact made with the people of Earth. Yes. Oh, that's a good question. I don't I don't ask for anything. Alex Montoya says, Gotico, he's saying, <laughs> will you give me a piece of technology as a gift? I don't expect you to do that, but he's asking that question. One tap for yes, two taps for no. <coughs> that was a tap, Commander. He tapped one tap for yes? Yes, he did. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for coughing. I might get some water in a minute. Well, thank you. I didn't expect that answer to be a yes, but thank you, Gattaco. I don't know what it's going to be that I'm bringing back off the ship when we come back, but I'm I'm humbled by whatever gift it is. I'm very humbled. Thank you. Is it beaming technology going to be released to the public of planet Earth? Hmm. Oh, uh, Pete Star TV in Ireland is saying, got to go, uh, is beaming technology going, I don't, beaming technology going to be released to the public of planet Earth. So Pete Star TV, are you asking if the Space Brothers and Sisters will give us the ability to understand beaming technology? Is that your question? Yeah, John Connors is still working with me. Um, and he's working on the Stargate. So that's the question. Got to go. The actual question is, once contact is made, will beaming technology, meaning the ability for us to beam, be made available? Well, I don't know who it's going to be available to. Will we be able to learn how to? Well, first of all, we don't have the ships to beam. We don't have Earth-based ships to beam anybody anywhere, but... I think you have to have a ship to beam somebody up onto something. So first we have to learn and learn from our star family how to build a ship when we are ready to be at that frequency where we have the ability to beam up onto the ship that we build. I don't think, uh, I don't know this, so I really don't know the answer. So I think you have to have a ship to beam up on a ship. Okay, so uh, Kaliko said yes to my, my description. So Pete Star TV, you have to have a ship in order to beam up on the ship. Uh, St. Orsbury Society says, Kaliko, will the internet, which is our Earth-based way of communicating, be used in the future to make contact? I thought I heard two clicks. Yeah, I, I heard two. No, the internet will not be used to make contact. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another question: Will we will we need to work on sta our standard jobs in twenty twenty five? Excuse me. I got. I'm gonna get some water in a minute. So the question is: Will people need to still do their standard jobs in the year 2025. One click for yes, two clicks for no. Yes, you're going to still have to do your work because it's not going to be like an automatic transition where everything just stops. It's going to be a transition to a point where you won't have to have these jobs on Earth, but it's a transition. It's something that won't be like a shock to everybody on the planet. It'll be a transition from the way we are now to a future uh, place where we won't have to be dependent on those things. Got go stopped on a question. Um, it says, uh, "Will will we be able to 
have better manifestation abilities in the future. Got to go. Um, will we will we be able to have better manifestation abilities in the future? Hmm. I heard that. That was a yes. Yes. Yeah. That was a yes. So whatever that future is, whenever that is, you will have the ability to manifest those things in the future. He said yes. Karen, good evening. And please have your questions ready for Gattaca, my friend from on the spaceship. Uh, and uh, he's with us tonight for our contact program. And my friend in space will take your questions that he chooses to take. If he misses a question, we'll try to pick some out here as well. He stopped on it. He stopped on a question. Um, will the internet go down like they are saying? Gotta go. Will the internet go down like they are saying? He said yes. Who said the internet's going to go down? That's my question. Where did that come from? Does anybody know where that came from about the internet going down? Who's Who on the internet is pushing that? Who's pushing that? Hey, good evening, Joni. So, hmm. Okay, so people on Facebook are, are saying, but where is the source of the information? Who started the thing about the internet going down? Where did that information come from? Yeah, I know there's a lot of things on Facebook and TikTok. Got it, let me ask you this question from my, uh, I don't watch much of the predictions and things people do here. Um, in terms of the internet going down, I've not felt any of that happening. Do you think, and let's, let me try to put a question that way here, because that seems to be a concern. Um, the internet, which everybody uses all over the world, if it goes down, if, is that going to be because of a, a big solar storm from the sun or something else? Well, let me ask the question. If it does go down, that's a big if on my part. If the whole internet system goes down all over the world, will it be because of a big solar storm? One click for yes, two clicks for no. So it won't be because of a solar storm. All right. Well, we leave the solar storm out of the thing. Wow. Did you hear yeah. that? It, I heard new technology. New technology. Who said that? That's what I heard. That's what Gattaca said. Oh, Gattaca. You heard him say yeah. new technology? Yeah, with his voice. Why am I not hearing his voice? I don't know. I heard that you were talking and leaning back, and that's what came across. It was really raspy, but that's what came across. So I, I wonder. Gattaca. Are we going to be giving be given new technology instead of the internet? Did anybody hear a tap? Yeah, I heard a tap. Yeah, I thought it was one tap. Wow. Oh, Lacey, that's not going to happen. I can, I'm getting a direct answer myself, Lacey. Uh, Lacey, yes. No, there's not going to be any nukes of New York. I'll ask the question, but there's not, I already know the answer. Got to go. New York City's not going to be having a nuclear bomb or anything hit it. One tap for yes, two taps for no. I heard two loud taps. No. Yeah. N no, not happening. Not happening, Lacey. So all is well. No nukes. Never nukes. We'll shut them down. Not happening. No nukes. Let's see here. 
And if you wish to ask questions, this is our special program of encounters tonight for Friday night. Uh, we are in contact with my space brother, Gattaca. He's on a spaceship in the atmosphere of our planetary system. And we'll take your questions. Please have your questions uh, thought out. Cat Mama says, Gattaca, will we be, will we all be healed from our um, ailments? So, so I think you're asking uh, someone <coughs> ask about medical things earlier um so Gattaca you're being asked again about healing I'm gonna get some water uh will we uh, will people be healed if they have ailments will they be healed of them when contact is is uh, official the answer is yes to your question Tiffany you're asking about blackouts that's a pretty general question blackouts when in general, Catherine says, "Why well, you know, you're asking him why he can't speak to us. He does, Friends with Furries has heard him speaking and not just tapping tonight. I've only heard the tapping, but he has spoken at points when he gets his energy through our particular frequency, he has spoken. He is speaking when he can. Oh, he stopped on a question. Um, will will it be replaced with conscious communication? Are you talking about the internet? I think they're talking about the internet. I think they're talking all about the internet. Got gotta go. Or do you want to ask, you ask, Commander? Uh, what which question am I looking at here? We're, um, they're asking if, um, if our, um, internet is going to be replaced with conscious communication. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that is. So got to They're asking an earth based human person is asking, will the internet be replaced by conscious communications? Whatever that means. One tap for yes, two taps for no. I heard two. Yeah. The answer is no. Uh, they don't, uh, Jim, they don't, uh, they're not looking to become presidents of a country here on earth. Um, I can tell you that right now, but I'll let you put the question out there. Gattaca, one of our viewers is saying, will one of your people become president of our nations, Gattaca? <laughs> one tap for yes, two taps for no. Absolutely not, Jim. They're not, they're not interested in what we already have been doing. They don't want they're not going to do that it's a whole going to be a whole different planet a whole different world that we're going to live in there won't be these presidents and prime ministers and people with power and all that stuff happening anymore no Gattaca has already stated um in in or in earlier communications that we are all one yes it's all oneness there's no presidents or prime ministers or queens and kings that stuff will be passed yeah it won't exist I think they're trying to get us out of that. <laughs> yes. Well, he's scrolling away here. <laughs> I'm going to get some water while he's scrolling on the ship at your TikTok on the screen. I'm going to get some water. I ran out of apple cider, so I'm going to drink some water. I'll be right back. You're watching Encounters, the Friday night contact show with my space brother, Gattaca, on the spaceship. Kit Kat, he stopped on you. I think he's trying to say hello to you. He likes you. Ah, thank you, Maddie, for the pumpkin spirit. Thank you. Oh, you can hear the you can hear the spaceship when you're 
uh, Brad Bradderall says, are the nuclear weapons disarmed? I don't think the nuclear weapons are disarmed, but they will be. Got to call the nuclear weapons on the planet are not disarmed yet, correct? One tap for yes, two taps for no. The nuclear weapons are not disarmed yet. They will be, but not yet. Yes, Jim, he's scrolling through Friends with Prairie's cell phone on the TikTok. He's scrolling through and stopping at questions he wants. He's, she's not touching her phone. He's doing it. <laughs> he keeps stopping on Kit Kat. He likes Kit Kat. He likes, he likes Kit Kat. <laughs> he does. Kit Kat, Gattaco likes you a lot. <laughs> I hope, I hope Gattaco's wife isn't jealous, though. That's the only thing I'm concerned with, Gattaco. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to make your wife jealous on this ship, I don't think. <laughs> um, somebody made a statement saying space beings are not supposed to interfere with our development. That's an Earth-based belief system that has nothing to do with truth. That's an Earth-based belief system, uh, and that comes from things on the Internet. Uh, when you're having contact with your space family, that has nothing to do with any intervention or anything. There is a universal understanding for many, many millions of years or even billions of years, but there's been interactions with our planet with many galactic civilizations, even before many of you were born and even before I came to Earth, for billions and billions of years. This planet is billions of years old. Many civilizations have interacted on Earth. So it's not something new, um, but it's time for interaction. It's time for reconnection. It's time for for everyone to, at some point, reconnect with the star system they came from. That means everybody that's in this thing watching this right now, it's all changing. The non-interference thing is out the window right now. For many years, it was in the window, but it's out the window. So that new... The new frequency, the new, um, what's the word for it? It's a word I'm trying to think. There's a new paradigm. That's the word. A new paradigm of contact. It happens now. There's no universal this or that stopping contact from happening. This is the time for it, and it's going to increase. So if you hear anyone telling you no one, uh, that our space brothers and sisters cannot contact us, that is now old news the new news is contact has begun it'll begin individually for many of you and then as the fleets of ships come to earth it'll be massive contact so it's time no excuses no hiding no listening to people say oh they can't come here from other planets and visit their star people the people they're connected to that's out the window now everything's out the window the whole thing's out the window Someone's asking if a star, if Starlink will replace the internet. Um, Gattaco's already stated that there's going to be new technology. New technology, yeah. What, what that's going to look like, we don't know yet. But that's kind of a hard question to ask him because right, right now we're only able to do yes or no questions. Um, he's able to speak oh. when he can. Saint or uh, Osterberry, uh, Saint. Osterbury Society asks a really good question, and I think I'll rephrase it. Is it possible, Gattaco, for humans to create a family with non-human civilizations from other planets? One tap for yes, two taps for no. You can, St. Osbury, uh, have a relationship with a man or a woman on another planet and have a relationship and also a family, too. Gotta go. Have you contacted us since the beginning of our existence? That's where Gotta Go stopped. Um, Gotta Go, have you contacted us since the beginning of our existence? J 
Jim, that's a yes. And when he says that um, to two, and God can tell me if I'm wrong, when he says that, he's saying also that many galactic spiritual planetary systems together have contact for billions of years have been coming to Earth, contacting various civilizations from different time periods of our planet. Got to is that a, a correct? Yeah, uh, I agreed with you. Okay. Uh, no, we're not clones. Uh, is it true we are all clones in other dimensions? No. There are no things that clones. So I can answer that question coming from Mars and from an Ashtar Command perspective. There are no clones coming from other dimensions. We are star seed. We are star beings that came here on Earth with biological families like uh, Ayana, you have a, a mother and father that you know, created you on Earth. You were born here, but we're not clones from other dimensions. That doesn't exist. Um, that's a, a, I'm coming. I'm answering that question in my Ashtar consciousness right at the moment. So I'm switching my consciousness depending on the question. So no clones uh, in terms of off planet. Uh, you know, you came here as, as a star seed to experience human life here but no clones on other dimensions thank you for the gifts yes thank you for the gifts we appreciate them and any any gifts and coins that you are giving to me are going for me to be able to get down there for a contact on the 13th so thank you for everybody that's helping and the uh, commander's gifts are going for his night vision goggles for his um, C5 group. Yeah. And general general spiritual work too. So we yeah. thank you for what you're gifting me as well for all the work we're doing here. Um, and uh, I don't think Gattaca, uh is too worried about getting gifts. <laughs> the biggest gifts we'll have, oh, thank you for the ice skates, John. Thank you for the... I think the biggest gift Gattaca and the space people will have, the biggest gift we could give them is our love. The biggest gift we can give them on April 13th is our love. And just, I can't wait to, when we all go on the ship to hug each other. Being, I can't wait till we can hug each other, physically hug each other and say, you know, it's so beautiful to be home, to just be, uh, to put the words into the way I feel right now, just imagining the experience of being on the ship, to just be able to hug my brothers and sisters on that ship and say, I'm sorry it took so long, you know, I'm sorry, but we're here now, and nothing can stop times. it. He tapped many yeah. times, Commander. Yeah, you know, the, you know, you have to understand, when I think about this and, and close my eyes, I have a, a great a sense of love, an overwhelmingly, uh, over, well, over, well, I can't speak English tonight, an overwhelming sense of love. That's a very spiritual foundation, you know, uh, and yeah, it's very, uh, it just touches the heart, you see, the spiritual heart. Yeah, gotta go. Is very happy tonight. He, I feel very good energy from him tonight. Yeah, yeah. He just said yes, Commander. He just said yes. Oh, said yes to what? He, he said yes. But I said, I said it felt like um he had very good energy tonight, like he was happy, and he said yes twice. Did anybody hear that? I I was talking. I think. Thank you. Gattaca, did, did, you, did you see that galaxy they just sent over the screen? He said yes. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it when he talks. His voice sounds so cool. Yeah. I've heard his voice. It does sound cool. I got my water here instead of cider, but that's okay, as long as I have something to drink. 
Yes, somebody, um, they, people are saying they did hear him. They did hear him come across saying yes. Some people are saying no, they didn't hear. Some people are saying yes, they did hear. I'm hearing things uh, in the house. I thought I heard vo a voice or something. I thought it was my cat. Yes, it is the ship you're hearing. What am I hearing? No, I hear, I, let me just text them. I thought my cat was, here. I'll be right back. I have to check something out here. I know I get so excited when I get to, when I get to hear him. It's, it's weird though. It's like, um, I, it's only when I'm on with the commander, is there like, does he come across like this? Oh, oh, except for the once, well, twice with my daughter, um, when he was, when he helped her get home safe. Um, but he, the same thing, he, he did the same thing with James's wife as well down the rabbit hole. He also, um, helped her get home safe. I think he was just making sure the whole, um, commander's group of people were safe that night because the roads were really bad. Yeah, they were. And, um, God ago had come across, um, my daughter's radio, um, saying that he, um, was there to um, protect the commander and his family as well. He said his wife and daughter. I didn't even know the commander had a daughter. I knew he had a wife, but I didn't know he had a daughter. And um, Godigo had come across saying that he was there to protect his wife and daughter. Him and his um, his spouse or mate. I'm not sure how, how mm. they refer to themselves. Mm. What was that? Uh, what do you mean? You didn't hear that? Did anybody no. else hear that? Oh, yeah, the answer, uh, I think it's uh, that, yeah, about healing. Yes, they, uh, they're able to uh, heal. Um, that's my Alexa app. Sorry about that. I, I know she's talking. Yeah, my um, my husband's checking on the weather tomorrow. <laughs> oh, he is. Oh, he is. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Kyle, you got me coughing now. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Does. Um, it's, there's no real magic. I can answer that question. Uh, the space, the intergalactic, the intergalactic civilizations, there's that uh, thing called magic on earth. Earth beings have created things called magic, but in space, there's not what you call, what you call magic. It doesn't exist. And it depends on what you mean by magic. Uh, but there is no like magic in the sense of what I understand on earth. And I can speak on behalf of the fairies and um, the the those type of beings. It's um, energy and um, and um, it's energy that they use um, to gather up stuff that people would call magic. Um, yeah. They use they use energy from nature, energy from the earth, um, energy from within themselves because they're um, very high vibrational beings. They can pull on energy. Um, to use it to create things, um, to open portals, to um, create um, small orbs around themselves to fly in. So um, as far as like actual magic, magic, um, I believe that's what what we think magic is. But it's, yeah. not, it's not real magic, it's energy these beings have learned to utilize. And yeah. hopefully someday we might be able to utilize too. <laughs> the ability to, um, I think, uh, uh, like uh, m when I speak about, uh, I would have to use a different word. Like when you're using like a conduit, 
uh, of the Christ consciousness. For example, when I do my workshops and um, I had worked with the Christ consciousness, and I know Ganika will understand this, that I wasn't doing anything. That um, when I did my workshop last year, uh, a person had uh, what they call sciatica. The whole body was uh, in that pain. And I put my hand up and closed my eyes and I saw the light of a brilliant orange uh, golden being that looked like Jesus without a beard came into my consciousness. And the next thing I know, I asked this person right on the other side of me in the circle of our group med uh, healing. When we came back to planet Earth, uh, I had my eyes closed like this. And she said she was in all this pain. So what I did was I went up to her and I said, I, I asked her if I go up to her, went up to her, put my hand around her and I said, your pain will be gone. And uh, I closed my eyes again. And then I saw the light of like a golden uh, orange kind of form. Uh, and then the afterwards I found out that after I was done, she had no more pain. So the reason why she had no more pain it's called Christ conscious. It's called um, working with the Christ consciousness. And that's exactly what we did at that time. Gattaco, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, one tap for yes, two taps for no. He tapped once, Commander. Okay. I didn't hear that tap. Sometimes I don't hear the taps, but okay. <clears throat> He said, uh, here's yes. a good question. He yes. verbally said yes. Okay. Are angels in the earth-based Bible beings such as, well, angels, the angelic realm, are beings themselves. The angels have angelic planetary worlds, to be more specific. Good night, mystic. Sweet dreams. Um, and and to answer, and also to to kind of add on top of that, um, the the beings from the angelic realm, um, they're um, they're like one of the highest vibrational beings that are out there. Um, those are the first beings that I had contact with. Um, there, that's actually where where. Um, are, I'm sorry. Let me back that up. Who can't talk tonight? Mm -hmm. um, that's mm -hmm. that's actually my star family. Mm -hmm. I just heard Gattaca talking. Yes. Yeah, see, now you can hear him. <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> I can hear Gattaca talking. Yep. Someone's asking if gotta go. Are you a watcher? What is a result? So, can somebody describe what a watcher is? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is a watcher? I don't know what that is. Can you explain? A watcher. A watcher is a guardian. Hmm. A guardian. Someone's saying it's a cherub angel. God, I don't think Gattaca is a watcher. No, he's not a watcher. Gattaca is from the star system Cirrus. So let me clarify some things about my space contact uh, with Gattaca and his space people. They're from the star system uh, Cirrus. Now, um, but in terms of that, no, he's not. He's not a watcher. It has nothing yeah. to do with him. The commander and Gattaca, um were were friends growing up off planet, um, and they they were friends for they went to school together and um, and have had a friendship for you know a very 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 long time. Now time doesn't exist the same for us as. Um, as it does for the space beings, um, like Gattaca is hundreds and hundreds of years old, um, and 
the commander is in a human is in human form right now um so um the so the commander and um got to go like hundreds of years ago were friends growing up off a planet before commander became and came down to earth in the human form there um got so got to go is i don't how would you describe got to go what kind of a being um uh a a human a human like me uh, but uh taller than i am uh he has a wife and has four children um but taller taller than me um i should put it that way they're a lot like us they really are yes. he has he has children he has four children he has um a daughter and four sons um and he has a mate um and we we have recently found out that her name is lucy um and got to go um travels with his family isn't that is that's what that's what he told us last time correct or was it just his right. his whole family uh, his whole family and in terms of this is the one thing people on earth don't understand um the star people when you say mortal versus the more uh the non-mortal or whatever it has nothing to do with the mortal thing that's an earth-based understanding of words when we talk about the star people and the people from other planets, <clears throat> they are basically that, what I am saying, star people, uh, star beings, humanoid, uh, uh, tall star beings from other planets. That would be the more proper uh, presentation for the people on the ship. Um, on Earth, we have these definitions we've created in our definition of things mortal non-mortal this mortal that mortal it has nothing to do with the mortal word it has to do with uh, star beings uh, light beings uh, just the beingness of who you are no there's no omegon coming to this earth there will be no omegon i can tell you that from the ashtar command perspective there will not be an Armageddon coming to this earth. There are other earth realities or parallel realities that exist, but not on this earth. There will not be anything like that. No, no. These beings are coming to help us. They're coming down here to, te to teach us to be better. And they're waiting for every for every one of the, the different types of beings to come down. There's ships that have been coming in every day um, all over the world. Um, and they're waiting. They're waiting for everybody, all of, or not everybody. They're waiting for all of the other yeah. uh, civilizations to to come. And they're going to, I I guess, have um, like as a um, commander would say, bust a matrix. <laughs> yeah, and got it. And how you spell his name is uh, I think Neltek. It's a G E K K O Gatico, G E K K O. You got to go. He's just talking. Yeah, I heard that. See, I told you he was talking. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm hearing got to go speak now for the first time tonight. Um, so somebody he, somebody asked, um, does got to go's people experience birth? Got to go. Do your people experience birth? I heard one tap. I'm listening now more to see if he speaks. I just heard his voice again. Yeah, I did too. I couldn't quite make it out, but I did hear his voice. Yeah, he stopped on a question. Um, I'll let you answer this one, Commander. It, the question is, will the government give us disclosure by then? By by when? But I guess by the time the spaceships show up. 
Um, I'll answer that question, and then my friend Gattaca on the ship can answer that question. From my now, I'm going to go into an Astro Command consciousness real quick. The government is going to be way behind the the Earth-based governments. Put it this way: are way behind uh, our space brothers and sisters. They are. When I say way behind, what I mean is they have been too slow to disclose the truth on the planet Earth for the last 70 years. They've been hiding the truth. So they're going to try to catch up now, but they will not be able to catch up with what's going to happen with disclosure. They waited too long. So because they... I'm sorry, go ahead, Commander. I was going to say, because the governments have waited too long, um, I can tell you that the different intergalactic civilizations of peace are not waiting anymore. They're done waiting. Uh, there, it takes time to get here from these other planetary worlds, but there'll be many, many ships coming to Earth. Many, many ships. Large ships, too, by the way. Yeah, the government is uh, a little, a little, it's a little late for them now to be giving us disclosure. These beings have been showing up um, slowly, not to frighten us and to let us know that they are coming to help us. And mm -hmm. they are, um, you know, different, different um, species of um, star people are coming from all over the place and um, got to go is already here him and his people are here and they are somewhere close to where the commander's um um location is um because i guess that's where he chooses to be right next to his friend <laughs> and i will also uh ask the answer the question of alex's question no um my space brother and the people from his planetary world do not work with any of our Earth-based governments, including the United States. Um, somebody asked, does God go eat food? Well, of course they do. They, they are vegetarians. They do eat food. They actually have, um, they actually have gardens and um, things like that up there on their planet. And uh, he and I guess Gotta Go is really into fruit and um, is waiting for the commander to bring him. Um, what was it your special watermelons, commander? Yes, <laughs> but Gotta Go, the watermelons won't be ready until probably August of on Earth based the Earth based seasons. August Gotta Go will be when I'll have watermelons available for you. August on the planet. Somebody asked. Yeah, <laughs> he's excited over that melon. Um, yeah, he will. He's going to get a watermelon. Oh, I'll he just said one. yes. He just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> he'll speak for the watermelon. <laughs> he tortures you, but he'll speak for that watermelon. <laughs> he'll speak for that watermelon. I'll oh, give yes, you, he I'm going to have to bring two or three watermelons on board. Uh, uh, once we have contact, we'll figure that out. We'll make um, Chesno carry him. <laughs> Chesno can carry the watermelons on board the ship. <laughs> when we get to watermelon season, then we can do that. <laughs> yeah. Will Will the ships come? And any of us leaving with them? When the ships come, will any of us be leaving with them? When the ships come, you mean? It's a, that person asking when the ships come, when the, the actual ships come for contact? Yes, that's what they're asking. Okay, so I guess the question is, when our ships come to Earth, meaning many of the galactic civilizations of planetary peace, when they come in mass, will people be able, if, they're, if they realize what's going on and they realize who they are, are they going to be uh, able to leave the planet uh, with some of the people that are coming here from other planetary worlds, I guess the the uh, question would be one for yes, two for no. I thought I one for him. yes, he said. I thought I heard him say chosen ones. Uh, let me ask the question, Gattaco. 
are there only going to be people taken off planet that are the chosen ones? One for yes, two for no. One for yes. So it looks like the chosen ones, whoever they are, it could be, you know, millions of you. I don't know. He says the chosen ones. I wonder if that means that they're going to pick a certain, certain amount of people just to bring up to maybe teach them things and bring them back. Yeah. I wonder. Huh. I, well, I'm well, sure. Let me, uh, when you say chosen ones, uh, I got to tell are those people that are going to be the first ones that are ready to go and be taken off planet? One tap for yes, two taps for no. So he said yes. So will eventually other people be able to be chosen once they are at a, a spiritual awakening to the point where they are at a frequency that you can know that they're ready to go to be a chosen person or what have you? One tap for yes, two taps for no. Okay, so he said yes. Uh, TikTok made me buy it. Paid says, will they be able to come back? They're already here. Oh, no. Will the people that are, oh, he's talking about the people that are taken, the chosen ones that are taken on the ship. Uh, Gotta go. Will the people that are chosen that wish to, when major contact happens, the person's asking, will they be able to come back to Earth? One tap for yes, two taps for no. That was one tap, Commander. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn it over to you, friends. I'll get some more water, earth based sure. water to the Commander. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, got to go. You got to stop on one question. You can't stop on five. Hold on, guys. Let him pick a question. He's scrolling. Okay, so got to go. Do you experience illnesses? That was he said no. That was too. Hey, you heard him. Yeah. <laughs> that was too. So the the question was, um, do they ex do they experience illness? Um, I would think not because they, you know, they live for very long periods of time, um, and they do have the capability to heal. Um, they have, you know, way, way far advanced technology than us. And they, and um, Gattaco has already stated that he is going, not him, but that the space people are going to be sharing that technology with us and um, helping heal us. Yeah. Um, somebody's asking, um, Gattaco stopped on this one. Gattaco, should we trust nasa you want to take that one commander okay uh, i'll let i'll let Gattaco speak and tap if he wants to do both he's able to speak tonight so that's good uh should people i mean i personally don't trust nasa Gattaco, uh should people trust nasa he already one tap for yes he already answered. He said no. <laughs> he <spoke that> <laughs> <way>. <laughs> he you heard it first. Spoke. You heard it first on my show. <laughs> and you know, if you hear it from my space brother, you know it's true. Do not trust NASA people on Earth. Do not trust NASA. Okay? Do not trust NASA. Um, somebody's asking if they sleep. Gotta go. Do your people sleep? He tapped. They go. They sleep. They sleep. Just like humans, they sleep. Oh, can I ask the question? Gotta go. He's already tapping. <laughs> <laughs> He's tapping already. He's, okay, this is gotta great. go. He's funny. <laughs> He's funny. He's oh he's over here tapping all crazy. Oh, he's now. tapping like crazy now. He's tapping. <laughs> okay, so let me read the question. <laughs> oh um, man. Um, but the answer is yes. But I'll read the question anyway. Um, will we be able to meet your people when you establish full contact? And the answer to that is yes. <laughs> That's funny. 
He's already tapping. He's like, yes. <laughs> he stops on a question and answers it. <laughs> and now Ashley's asking, uh, Gattaco, do you have seasonal weather changes on your planet like we do on Earth? One tap, yes. Or you can just say yes or whatever. He said yes. It was a, like a... I don't can't I can't mimic it. Yeah, like a, it, it was it's like a, it's like a whispering. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He 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 will whisper when he speaks sometimes. But that was a yes. Yeah. He also said, um, and I think it was yesterday's show. He also said that they they even have um like um uh, planet based does like um does oh I heard him speak again. Um, they, they have like, um, somebody asked if they have natural disasters down on their planet. And he said, yes, they do. I'm sure. I, I mean, that would make sense, you know, cause our yeah. planet goes through like earthquakes and things, things like that. So, you know, I, I would expect that maybe other planets go through stuff like storms and whatnot. Yeah. All the planets do. Mm -hmm. Um, Gattaca, does the planet Jupiter I always talk about all the planets in our solar system have intelligent life. Are there, is there a spiritual, are there, are there people living on Jupiter? One click for yes, two clicks for no. Oh, there's nobody. There are no people living on Jupiter. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let me ask you another question. Is there life on Jupiter? One click for yes, two clicks for no. There's life on Jupiter. Now, how do I ask my next question? If there's life on Jupiter. Now, remember, one question, Commander. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, is there intelligent life on Jupiter? One click for yes, two clicks for no. There's no intelligent life on Jupiter. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to talk to you, Gattaca, when on the ship about that Jupiter. Um, well, that, that kind of is interesting. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I want to ask Alex this question. <laughs> Gotta go stop I wanna, on it, though. <laughs> I, I, I want to ask Gotico, was there ever intelligent life on Jupiter? One click for yes, two clicks for no. There was. So what happened to the life that was on Jupiter? Did they leave Jupiter on spaceships? One click for yes, two clicks for no. He, he said yes. Oh, they left the planet. Yes, that's what he said. Interesting. He, he's given some explanation, I guess. He's saying something. I can't. I couldn't make out what he said, though. Um, I'm trying to hear. Gattaca, please give your explanation as best you can uh, verbally, and I'll try to listen with my my earphones. He stopped on two questions here. Hmm. No. He stopped on a, he stopped on two questions here, Commander. Mm -hmm. So um. Oh, he just did it again. Whoa. God, I can't understand what he's saying though. Oh, he's speaking. Yeah, he did for a second. I couldn't understand what he was saying. Though. I'm listening. I don't know if he's answering the questions that he's looking at or if he's answering your question. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next question, Commander. Um, mm -hmm. They're asking, there's two questions here, so I'll start with the first one. Um, are, the, are the chosen ones the ones who have, who have been visited or who were visited? Um, gotta go. Are you? you are the space he said yes i heard that he verbally said yes 
Okay, so I guess the ones that are chosen are going to be the ones that have already had visitation. He said yes to that um, verbally. Hmm. And then yeah. the next, <laughs> I don't know if I want to ask this one. Um, are, the are, are babies made the same as on Earth? Well, that's a good question. Uh, he said yes. <laughs> he was a pretty chipper yes. <laughs> so now you heard it first on Encounters. Babies on his planet are made, are created just like babies on Earth. It's a beautiful thing, right? He was a pretty enthusiastic yes there. Gotta go. <laughs> I hope your mate's happy. <laughs> she's probably, she's pro his, his mate is probably standing next to him, like listening. Very That's similar, funny. yes. That's funny. Gotta go hysterical. If anyone's not watching this show, you're missing the number one spiritual UFO talk show on social media. Not only that, not only that, the show is better than watching CNN, NBC, and CBS News, which are all the same stuff every day, day, day out. Uh, so <clears throat> if you're here and wondering what we're doing on TikTok, you say, well, that's interesting. And then you disappear. You should stay a while. <laughs> because then you'll find out we're talking to my space friend on a spaceship. We're not channeling. We're not throwing cards in the air. I don't have crystal balls in my hands. Uh, you know, I'm not doing a dance and or a ritual or anything. I'm not, uh, you know, a channeling anything. Uh, I am right here on Encounters, your talk show host, here on this particular broadcast. And we're having our Friday night chat with Gattaco, who's on a spaceship. And we don't do crazy disco balls and only the commander's crazy background. That's it. That's right. That's all. That, all you're going to get is my crazy background. And I hope you can live with it. <laughs> that's what's happening. Oh, um, okay. So Gattaca stopped on Alex's question. Does yeah. Gattaca's planet have substances to raise your consciousness? Hmm. That's a good question. That's interesting. You want to ask that one, Commander? I'm not sure how to answer it. I don't. I I can't speak for their planet because even when I before I came to Earth with the Astro Command, I don't, that's something I don't remember ever needing to do. Are they saying um, do they use certain substances to elevate consciousness in their mind or their consciousness or yeah. I, I don't know if that's what Alex is asking, but he says, does God a ghost planet have substances to raise your con? Oh, he said no. Okay, you hear let's him? see. Um, I didn't hear him now. I got my earphones in here. Oh, my, my earphones are on, my iPods are on. Oh, did you see what happened to my eyes? That was cool. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out for a minute. I'm sitting I don't want to freak anybody out. Your eyes caught on fire. <laughs> yeah, that was just an energy of light that was coming through my eyes. Just to let you know, it was an intergalactic energy for everybody to see. I'm just kidding. You. Just kidding. Thank you for the gift. You guys are great. Thank you so much for all the gifts you guys have been giving the commander. That is awesome. I didn't even get to see the whale. I'm so disappointed. Oh, I really yeah, to see that. it is. It, it is my show. It is recorded. Um, it'll, everything that we're doing tonight, it'll be on my Astro Command Spaceship news page. Rabbi, Mary, thank you for the roses. Thank you so much. Thank this you so much, everybody. For the commander's spirit, spirit, I can talk tonight. Thank you. Needs and his um, night vision goggles for his um, C5 group. Yeah. Any gifts that are given to me are getting me down to Connecticut for the yeah. April 13th contact. Hopefully. <laughs> experiment. I'll say experiment. <laughs> yes. It's a definite experiment. Um, and Gattaca, 
you're not going to let us down on the 13th, correct? You're going to actually be there so I don't go live on TikTok in the field looking at apples. <laughs> He's cooking like crazy. He's probably like, telling you to bring him some apples. <laughs> 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 you know, we will be next to the apple. The apples won't be ready until later in the in this into the spring or no, no, actually the apples won't be ready until the fall. No, before the fall. There won't be apples ready. But maybe they will have apples in the apple store. You know, so maybe we can get apples earlier in the day on Saturday and bring the apples on the spaceship April the thirteenth. Maybe we can do that. He's going to hear the apples. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go. I think, <laughs> I think we're going to have to bring a whole bag of apples on the spaceship. What do you think, Gotta <laughs> Maybe we should just bring them a whole basket of fruit. How's that? Gotta go. Yeah, I got a basket of fruit, Gotta go. <laughs> this is great. A basket of fruit. You got it. Kit Kat's bringing you know, the fruit. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We'll put a we'll get a Kit Kat one of those little fruit hats and we'll have a right. little Kit Kat dance. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That sounds great. I like it. We love this you, Kit Kat. <laughs> uh, Lori says, "Bring him to the farmers market." Well, that would mean that he would have to come off the ship with his wife during farmers market season, and I'm not sure how people would take it if Gattaca and his wife were walking with us and a farmer's market, but it could be interesting. Could, we could get a lot of attention, got to go. Right. Oh, you know what, Commander? April is uh, maple season in uh, Vermont. Oh, maple season, yeah. Yeah, so I'm maple maybe, syrup. maybe I should bring, got to go some maple syrup. Would you like uh, Friends of Prairies to bring you maple syrup from Vermont, got to go? He's tapping like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> got to go, are you hungry? <laughs> I guess he is. <laughs> I hear the tapping. Hey, Gattaca, um, you know, we have a lot of types of food. Do you like pizza? Cheese pizza? Have you ever had pizza before, Gattaca? No, okay. <laughs> He's probably going, what's a pizza? <laughs> what's a pizza pie? <laughs> oh, God. No, Surprise, no, Brad. I had, I said, had the pizza. <laughs> oh, no. uh, we love you, man. We do love you, God. <laughs> <laughs> or a steak. Um, they don't yeah, eat. I don't think that. They don't eat meat. <laughs> we'll bring them a fruit. We'll bring them some fruit roll ups. <laughs> well, I think, um, I got to go. Do you like ice cream? You know what ice cream is? Ice cream is, um, seriously, ice cream is something, uh, it's milk from a cow, and they take the milk and they make what they call ice cream on earth. If you get it from a farm, it's really good. And ice cream comes in different flavors. You can have vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. And if you have kids, depending on their what they like, they might not like earth-based ice cream. I don't know. But ice cream is something a lot of people on the planet like. They like to get ice cream. It's like a dessert. Oh, you know what I was thinking? Gotta go. Does does your um does your planet have um things like wine or um stuff that like uh, I don't know how to how would I describe that, Commander? <laughs> because I I remember um, someone asked that before. Yeah, on your planet, do you drink anything like wine? Like on Earth, they take grapes on the planet and they turn it into wine. Do you have similar things like that you drink on your planet? He said yes. Oh, I heard the verbal yes, too. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're going to have to bring them a bottle of wine and a fruit basket. <laughs> a bottle of wine and a fruit basket, got to go. <laughs> yep. And that will be our gift to you from planet Earth. I wonder how got to go would feel about some maple cotton candy. I don't think he knows what that is. He probably doesn't. That's why I'm going to bring it so he can try it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, well, we're not really um, talking about drinking alcohol to, you know, to get drunk. We're talking about like a wine is something you can drink, you know, just for occasions. I don't really drink anything myself. Um, I drink apple cider, pretty much apple cider, and then pretty much apple cider. So if you ask me, I'm an apple cider person. Someone thought to sugar <laughs> them up and send them home. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh his what his mate would probably kill us <laughs> no. get him all jacked up i think <laughs> i think if i bring an apple cider on board the ship i think i'd tell you to like it it's my as a as being from off planet i found that apple cider on earth is really good uh oh that's a good question uh Gattaco. Uh, you know how we talked about galactic schools when we were younger. Do your children go to a galactic school? One tap, yes, two taps, or no? He was tapping before you even finished with the question. He said yes. Yeah. So Gattaca's children go to what we call a galactic school. I can't believe it's 1 a.m. in the morning on planet Earth. Is it? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 1 o'clock in the morning on planet Earth. But at least it's a Friday night. Yes. Sleep in tomorrow a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we might go out to breakfast tomorrow morning. You don't like apple cider? No. That's the Who doesn't like apple cider? <laughs> Somebody Who doesn't say, like apple cider? No, don't say that. That hurts the commander's soul. <laughs> That's his life. You'll life. have to drink. <laughs> You'll have to drink some apple cider because now I'm sad. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you don't, if you don't drink any apple cider, that's all right. <laughs> that's so funny. Eventually, uh, TikTok made me buy uh, its page, so I can say this, and Gattaca can answer too verbally, what have you. Uh, the monetary system will eventually be nil, meaning on other planetary systems there is no money. There's no monetary system. Everything is freely um given to each other uh, there is no money on planet earth the monetary system will eventually go into a, a period of well there will be no more monetary system got to just had a big tap there for yes to what i was saying and i said the word eventually it's not going to be like a drastic thing but it will be eventually there'll be no monetary system your earth-based religions will disappear that were man-made created, created by man, I should say. Uh, monetary system will disappear. Your political systems will fall apart. And in the end, you'll be living like other planetary systems of light in a very unified uh, communal existence of a complete love and light of each and every one of you. Um, somebody's asking if God Go has ever walked on earth, on, on our planet. You want to take that oh, one, Commander? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying yes or no because I don't know that. I'll let him ask ask the. I'll I'll let him answer the question verbally if he wishes to. Got to go. Have you ever walked on our planet Earth before? One click. Oh, you know, you can talk or whatever you want to do. He said yes. He has walked on the planet before. <laughs> the reason why I said you take it is because he's been in your home. Yeah, um, yeah. So got to go. Just to let people know this, have you been in my home? One click for yes, two clicks for no. Gattaca has been in my home. Um, Gattaca has actually been in my house uh, since I've met him. He's been here a few times in my house physically. I don't see him. Other people say they see him through my, my camera, but Gattaca does come and into my house, and he knows he's welcome here uh, from the ship. Um, Gattaca, do you ever go in our refrigerator when you visit to see what kind of food I have? One click for yes, two clicks for no. But if you go in our refrigerator, I must be sleeping so you don't wake us up, correct? One click for yes, two clicks for no. Yeah, he doesn't want to wake us up when he's here. But he has been here. He, um, he said she did. <laughs> I must be his mate. <laughs> uh, she goes into uh, she goes in her your your your, your mate goes in the refrigerator. 
<laughs> you see, he blamed it on her. He's like, she did it. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. I'm sitting here just like, <laughs> you know, um, but I know that you and your wife love, love my crystals. You know, Gattaca, very soon, this weekend or the following weekend, where, where I'm right now, all the crystals are going to be in this room where I'm broadcasting. That's going to be pretty beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful situation. All the crystals and my daughter's arts area is going to be in the corner from here, like this way. And then we're going to have all the crystals set up in a certain way uh, in the room. It's going to be pretty amazing. Oh, that would, and it would probably amp up the frequency too. With the crystal oh, again, the, the, the room will be fully amped up. Oh, yeah. He'll love that because he loves that crystal room. He's been in there several times. Yeah, he loves my crystals. God, if I, here's my newest crystal. I know you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm going to show it to you right here. This came from India. What do you think of this, God? Okay, let me see. I'm going to go off the blue screen, the green screen for a minute to show him the crystal. Let me see here if I can do this. How do you like this, God? Okay, you can see this right here. You can see this. Oh, wow, Commander. That's beautiful. This is from India. That's really pretty. What do you think of this, Gattaca? Do you see it? This is copper coils, and then there's a pyramid on top. Oh, that's really pretty. And Gattaca must like it because he's tapping like crazy. Yeah. That's I beautiful. I wanted to share that with you. Uh, got go and your wife. Yeah, he's scrolling now. He's scrolling. It look. Someone's saying it looks like his ship. Someone else. Yes, saying that's that. right. Got go's ship looks like that, but it's more of a star shape with a circular inner part, and it's very large spaceship. Very large. Her name is, uh, yes, her name is Lucy, yes. Yeah, Gattaca's wife, his name is Lucy. Someone else is saying they have the same crystal. Oh, good. Oh, uh, Serena has to say, hey, Serena. Cool, you got the same crystal with the uh, pyramids, with the pyramid and the uh, copper coils. Very good. Oh, man, I can't believe it's 108 in the evening here on the east coast of the planet. Oh, yeah. You know, it's getting late. We'll entertain a few more questions. Um, and then the commander, and I think friends want to get some rest, too. Yeah. And we thank I've friends for being here. working all day, guys. She's been working all day, and she's got cheese all over her and all over her clothing. <laughs> cheese in her face. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> she's got she has she has cheese hair coming down her head i'm just kidding you. she's very cheesy <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy commander <laughs> it's not easy being cheesy you know that's actually wrong it's not easy being cheesy <laughs> oh man we got a little bit silly towards the end of the show here you know, I'm sure Gattaca and his wife are laughing right now. He's <laughs> <laughs> tapping, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's uh, so, said, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, you know, I don't want you to lose control of your spaceship. You're laughing so hard. Someone's got to watch where they're going. <laughs> <laughs> don't, let, don't let the cheese hit the spaceship window, Gattaca, or else you won't be see where you are in outer space. Oh, here's a here's here's a good question, Commander. Yeah. Um, somebody just asked, "Will pets be allowed with the chosen?" Oh, that's interesting. Well, they have pets. Oh, he said they yes. Have pets. He yes, said yes. Of course. He. So if you have a pet, yes. Wow, he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, let's see a couple more questions. I gotta go. You gotta slow down. I can't read that fast. Uh, gotta go. Have you been communicating with my cat once in a while? I think she's been talking to you. 
Did you hear that? What did I hear? Nothing. I don't. I heard tap. He's like, what did I hear? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard him come across. <laughs> well, what did he say? You heard? What did he say? I didn't hear it. I talked too much. He said yes. He said yes, but it was like a yes and then a glove like grumble after it. But I, yeah. think you're like, what did I hear? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you've been talking to my cat because she talks to you. You talk to her in the. You talk to her right now in the crystal room. Uh, I know you. Uh, when you come here, she's in the crystal room a lot, talking to you. <laughs> oh, he's tapping like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she likes. She like Missy likes you, and she's in the crystal room a lot. She has right now. She's on a chair that she likes to use in the crystal room. But that room is going to be here. So um, this is the. The house is amped up pretty heavily, Gattaca. All those crystals are going to be in alignment with the universe in a frequency alignment so that it'll be uh, the way it's supposed to be. Um, Joey, yes, uh, but it's kind of hard to have a talk show when you don't talk. <laughs> I'm saying the most right. information available is in silence. <laughs> we tried that one already. <laughs> we tried silence. <laughs> You have to talk on a talk show. <laughs> right. We were, I was one time thinking of going on TikTok with a silent talk show on UFOs and spiritual information. But then you would just see me standing here looking at the camera. <laughs> I can do that. You know, this is what the show would have looked like. <laughs> With your rolling screen. <laughs> Every once in a while you get to face Kitty up to say hi, but no, no sound. <laughs> Um, my cat is three months old, still a baby. I got it from my oldest daughter for Christmas. Aw. The commander has a very famous TikTok kitty. He's a space kitty. I'm surprised he hasn't come around meowing. No, she's sleeping right now. Wow, she's usually all about it when Gata goes on. Yeah, when Gata goes on, she likes to come on camera. Mm-hmm. Someone saying they love the rolling screen. Uh, thank you. So at least somebody does. I'm very happy because Gattaca, did you mess up my uh, my green screen last night, the other night by accident? One tap for yes, two taps for no. <laughs> he's tapping like crazy. He thinks he's playing. He's got jokes, Commander. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling he does. Um. Let's see. Now we're entertaining questions. Karen82, what's your question? Karen82. Oh, someone's asking, um, will we have world peace soon? I think that would depend on us. It depends on us. That That's the answer. It depends on us. We're the ones who have to make that happen. Is Nightbird says, is he, oh, James, down the rabbit hole. Um, Gattaca, are you missing down the rabbit hole whose uh, control board you were playing uh, the laughter stuff the other night? That was very good, Gattaca. I enjoyed the clapping and all that stuff. That was that was one of the best ever. <laughs> he said yes. He likes James a lot. Yeah, James is a good man. Good person. Let, me be, let me be word that he likes messing with James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, gotta call. I like messing with James too. He's very easy to mess with. <laughs> we love him. Oh, you want to know? Oh, here's a good question. Clifford is asking you, gotta call. Uh, he's been on my show before. Clifford wants to know if he comes from the Alpha Centauri system. No, no, Clifford. I got two taps. Did you hear that, Commander? No. Wow, that was really loud. Am I the only what one? What was that? It was like, I don't know, it sounded like a, I can't explain it. It was a, a rumble and a really loud like noise after it. It didn't sound like talking. It sounded like machinery or something. Oh, no, there, there was a car going by. Oh, okay, okay, that that explains yeah. it. Debunked. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was just a car going by. Okay, well, that's what I heard. 
if it was a spaceship, I would have taken the camera outside on the porch. Yeah, somebody said, yeah, like a car going by. Yeah, it was a car. Well, it's now about 1.16. I think it's time to wind it down. Uh, I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, it's been a really incredible evening. Uh, I love every one of you here. I want people to know that we're almost at 70,000 likes. And if we don't hit 100,000 likes, that's okay. We're at almost 70,000. So, but we have 161 people. Can we hit 100,000 likes in like two minutes, three minutes? If everybody taps, can we do it? I gotta go. Everybody. Tap. Commander, gotta go. Just tapped a heart. I am not touching my phone. Gotta go. Tapped you a heart. <laughs> gotta go. Just tapped me a heart. Yes. He's still scrolling through the questions the way you said that a tap, a, a um, heart went across. <laughs> I got to go. Can you get me up to 100,000 uh, likes here uh, pretty quick? Can you do something? It's at 71,000. I need 100,000. The other thing is, got to go. Can you give me 100,000 followers right now? Um, however you want to do it with TikTok. I need 100 um, people to follow me right now tonight. If you can make that happen, I won't have to wait till spring. I still have to wait till spring. I need 100,000 followers tonight. 100,000. Got it. Got it. Go. I need 100,000. I need 100,000. Yes, you cannot make this stuff up. He sent you a rose. I did not touch my phone. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Oh, this I is just, oh, this I is beautiful. This. <laughs> this get is on my other phone and do that. I need 100,000 followers. Uh, I want, I want to see, want to get up tomorrow morning, got to go. I want you to choose on TikTok all the people that are interested in this subject that are sympathetic. 100,000 followers by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is the 27th. So by tomorrow morning, I'm going to take a look at my TikTok followers and see at least 100,000. Thank you for the know, guys. See, Gattaca knows what to do. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. We love everybody here. This is great. We love you all, every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> uh, we love the hand hearts. Thank you, everybody. And you're getting some good. You're getting some good gifts there, friends and furry, for the trip to Connecticut. That's good because I'm going to need it. Yeah, she's going to need it. <laughs> I'm at eight thousand. Let's get up to a hundred thousand. I want everyone to find people. I know Gattaca can use the technology of TikTok, play with their TikTok <coughs> things with all the names, look at what their backgrounds are. And if they're cosmic beings of light, Gattaca could, Gattaca could. <laughs> did you, did you just do that? I promise you I did not. Gattaca just sent me a gift. Gattaca just sent me a gift. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Yes, from Gattaca on the spaceship using Friends with Furries TikTok. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's so funny. He did that once before. He kept sending um, James Chili's. He kept sending yeah. James Chili Peppers. I'm like, Gattaca. Yeah. <laughs> hey, G G Gattaca, does um, Friends with Furries have any galaxies on her TikTok? You know, do, can you see anything there? A galaxy or a whale or something with the little lights? um press one of those buttons yeah, i think she they're probably on there whatever you have play around with some of those gift buttons there i uh, got to go uh we're almost at a thousand no we're almost at a, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you we're almost at a, no shame he's like gotta go let's go <laughs> let's just keep going we we're almost at a hundred thousand likes here we're at eighty eight thousand. i want to get a hundred thousand followers to do the outreach i'm in such a wild cosmic mood right now it's unbelievable i'm really i'm really I'm, <laughs> oh man i'm telling you this is hysterical i he like i told you the other day he was sending <laughs> james chilies and and now he's sending you ggs maybe he's sending you telling you gotta go <laughs> go gotta go <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious, brothers and sisters here. 
You're watching Encounters, and we are on the spaceship right now. <laughs> we are. We are going to be on the spaceship soon. We won't be able to broadcast on the spaceship, but we'll be on the spaceship. I can't That's wait. That's right. But, I, yeah. I really can't. I, I want to get a special basket together for God to go. I want to bring him some. I do, too. Some um, I do too. syrup from Vermont and yep. you know, um, all the gifts that people want to get. We'll just do like a big basket for him and his people. You know, we'll do some fruit, all different yeah. kinds, you know, get them try stuff that, that, you know, that would be yeah. nice from our, from our world to them. Yeah, no, I think it would be kind of good to do that. We'll share, we'll sit down on the ship and we'll all feast together. Yeah. I want to try some, Gattaca, I want to try some of, the fruits and vegetables from your planetary world when we're on the ship. I'd like to try some of the food from your planet. Gotta go really likes food. <laughs> yeah. Food is something we can all uh, communally get together on. It would be so we're almost at 100,000. I'll have to check my TikTok followers uh, tomorrow morning, Gotta go. I'm depending on you, my brother, to get me 1,000 fo uh, followers. Uh, no, 100,000 followers. I need 50 more thousand followers to be 100,000. So in Earth terms, when you look at the TikTok list of people that are interested as light workers, starseed, just choose uh, any grouping that you feel would be the right ones to build me up to 100,000. Then they're going to look at their TikTok and see that they're following Commander Alion, the man from Mars. And they're going to say, who's this Commander Alion, the man from Mars on TikTok? How did he get 100,000 followers? He needed 50 more thousand followers. <laughs> it can happen, folks. It will happen. You know it's going to happen. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Gattaca will make it happen. We have 100,000 here. We need another 50,000 followers on my TikTok. I want everybody to help get me 50,000 more people that are people that are really, truly, uh, sincerely uh, light workers, star seed, uh, beings of light, people that are uh, open to this. How do you follow me? All you got to do is press the thing. Let me see here. I'm going to follow you. Nail tech, I just followed you. So all you have to do, Nail tech, I'm following you. Just now follow me. Just to press on my um, my profile and just follow me. All right. I think it's time to go to sleep. It's almost 1.30 in the morning. Can we get the commander one more galaxy before we go? One more galaxy, guys. Or a whale. I didn't get to see the whale. Would be awesome. I think Gotta go. Just said, "Come on." <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I heard, "Come on." <laughs> <laughs> I hear a spaceship. I can hear the spaceship. Oh yes. That's awesome. If anyone wants to have a spaceship go over my screen, and there is one, just send it over. I'd like to see it. I really want to see the whale. I haven't gotten to see the whale yet. Yeah, the whale is good. There's a lot of uh, interesting things. Doesn't anybody have any big TikTok coins left for the commander? For the little commander? So he, he needs apple I cider. Need a, I need apple cider and big TikTok <laughs> coins. Do you have anybody has anything? Come on now. <laughs> This has to be unconditional love, you know what I mean? Unconditional. <laughs> we need more coins. We need some bigger presents here. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get a little bit... Dehydrated. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here at the end of the show. I need your help. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> I tend to be comical, folks. I, I probably, you know, in my last lifetime, I could have been an actor. But I got no respect. So there you go. <laughs> oh. All right. I do have a comical nature to me, folks. You know, I could have went that way a long time ago. But you know what? When you come from another planet, when you come in, uh, filled with light and love, uh, this is the way I normally like to be. I like to be, I just like to love everybody, you know? That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Love conquers everything in this in this universe. It's all about love. Yep. Alrighty. I want to thank everybody for their gifts. If you have any pickles or 
any uh, uh, fruits that you want to put through the screen or anything interesting. Oh, uh, thank you, Karen. Uh, if you want to do some weird TikTok gifts that we haven't seen before, maybe like palm trees or something in a, a beautiful a tropical climate, please send it over now. Commander. Did you hear that? Yeah. What was that? Uh, oh, I can't. What's going on? I turned my other phone on. Is he playing the music? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna listen to listen, everybody. Hold on, I don't want to touch the phone. Don't touch it. Oh my God, Commander, I'm like, I, I can't even right now. That is making me cry. That is beautiful. Mm. Okay. I'm listening. I got it. Wow. That was beautiful. Mm. That was beautiful. Wow, I'm like crying right now. That was beautiful. Mm. Godico, thank you. Thank you, Godico. What a good way to end the show. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Thank you, all those. Thank you. I am touched very much so. Wow. Thank you, Gotta Go. That was amazing. Like, I'm crying right now, Commander. My eyes are so, <laughs> wow. I'm like feeling really emotional. <sighs> I'm just closing my eyes before anything. I'm uh, just, uh, Thank you. There's no words that can impress, express. Just thank you very much. Wow. I guess that's a banger way to end the show. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Gattaco, for that. I'm going to go to sleep now, I think. I want to say I love each and every one of you. Uh, and I mean that, every one of you who are here. Thank you for the gifts, guys. Thank you. Thank you for everything. We'll get some sleep tonight, and uh, we'll be we'll be back tomorrow night, tomorrow night, Saturday night. I have, I'm speechless. Just thank you. 
much love to everybody. Thank you for being here, supporting what I do. Thank you, Friends of Furries, through for doing what you do. I appreciate you very much. You were very welcome, Commander. Gotta go. Thank you. That was so moving. I'm like, I'm, try, I'm like trying to gather myself and not get all choked up here. That was that's okay. Beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. I that was a wonderful song. Wow. I gotta now. I gotta find out what that song is. <laughs> Yeah, it was a beautiful song. I don't know what it is, but I heard every word. It was just uh, yeah. stunning. Okay, how am I supposed right. to cry, baby, and go, go to bed? It's okay. You can cry. Everybody have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow night. I'm Commander Alian. Blessings, love, and light to each and every one of you. Yes. Gotta go. Blessings, love, and light to you and Lucy and everybody on your ship. Take care.